Now, let's get right into it. The Saints Drew Brees contract is the first thing because there is no deal. There is no Saints that without Drew Brees. And the particulars of this deal is, of course, they signed him. They waited to the very last moment to they, poss- to, to they possibly could sign Drew, and they get him. Now, of course, we've been hearing a flack about the deal being a two-year deal worth $50 million, and that we heard one say it's a, a one-year deal worth $24 million with voidable years. That is a, a portion of it, but let's give you the entire thing and you decipher for yourself. The deal is more complex than initially reported. It's two years for $50 million on paper. It's, three year, it's a three-year deal for $70 million. But the third year for twenty million is set to void automatically in March twenty twenty. All right, so that's the actual particulars of the deal dealing with Drew Brees. Now, like we said, the third year of the deal is a shell year. It voids automatically if Brees is on the roster on the last day of the twenty nineteen league year, which will be in March twenty twenty. Again, the extra year on the contract is for purposes of spreading Brees dead money out into the future. Okay. Now, that's that's one of the things we want to overemphasize. Now, Breeze did not receive an official signing bonus on this deal, but he get a 13.5 million roster bonus, which was guaranteed at signing. And that's according to uh, Joe, Joel Corey. He's a former agent who's now a salary cat expert at CBS Sports. So this is where some of this information is coming from as they report and explains that the move will spread the roster bonus equally across the three years of the deal, similar to a signing bonus. So there you go. So each year, of the three years from 2018 to 2020 will include a four point five million dollar cap hit for this roster bonus. Each year also will include six million in dead money from the signing bonus on a previous contract as well so here you are then a total guaranteed 27 million in 2018 then a base salary of 10.2 that is actually guaranteed the roster bonus is 13.5 million guaranteed at signing the other roster bonus is 3.3 million guaranteed on friday march the 16th then it's a cap hit in 2018 of 24 million dollars 29 in 2019 the base salary is then 11.05 million the roster bonus is eleven point ninety five million due the third day of the twenty nineteen league year. Then the cap hit is thirty three point five million, which will be lowered with a restructured agreement next year. Then in twenty twenty, the base salary goes up to twenty million and it voids automatically if Breeze is on a roster the last day of the twenty nineteen league year. Now the cap hit for twenty twenty is two point five million, which will be raised if there's a restructure. For that next year. So that is the particulars on the Drew Brees' contract deal that was released according to CBS Sports. Now, we're just hitting you with that because I know you a lot of people don't know the particulars. They think it is a one year deal, but they're kind of spreading this money out. And like D- DC asked the question about do we have the money to keep going after these guys? Well, obviously we do. And we're not just, just looking at Drew Brees. I think the well, Saints going to make a few. for $24 million against the cap. So if they sign four players, so if that's the case, then where's the? We only what, had thirty million dollars in cap room. So what, what's going to happen here is we're going to see some restructurings. We're going to see a couple of people get released, uh, a la Kobe Fleener. So you're oh, going really to like that guy. You're going to see some stuff happening coming up real <laughs> soon with the Saints, man, as they continue to improve upon this team. Now that's just some of the particulars dealing with the Drew Brees contract, and just to set everything straight. Now that you know you're more empowered. Let's move into the discussion about Drew Brees coming back, uh, D.C. Let's make it quick because we need to go into a few more topics know, uh, yeah, pertaining yeah, to it. So Break down that uh, contract. You <laughs> might as well did the negotiation, man. man that, was pretty, that, was, that sounded like one of the agents doing yeah, the contract, man, didn't it? Yeah. But anyway, let's talk about Drew Brees' impact and significance. Moving forward now, of course, the plan years as, as it perceived as we as you just broke down that contract uh, going ahead. This sounds like to me the Saints are loading up for one really good run at the Super Bowl here. Uh, that's my take on it, and uh, uh, and I just think that it's terrific. Now, Drew Brees, another thing about the money. Drew Brees is a guy that's like Peyton Manning in terms of how he protects his image. He's, he's a choir boy image, but let me tell you something about Drew Brees. Drew Brees is a wicked good businessman. He got all these businesses they don't even around. Sound high, so how wicked good go together? Wicked good. Wicked good. If you got, if you had a, a girlfriend that was ever wicked good, you know, just what I'm nah, talking about, playboy. Not, 
Good job. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> but anyway, let's 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 keep the family show. But anyway, let's keep it moving. But Drew Brees is an excellent, excellent businessman. He's about his money. He wants his money. He earned everything. Like you say, he's a small guy. Nobody really gave him a chance. He rose to the level. He's earned every damn penny that he made. He's a smart businessman, and I applaud Drew uh, for getting every dollar he possibly can uh, for his sweat and tears, because that's how it's supposed to be. Even in the regular work world where you go, do not settle for less. Always get the most for your labor because really your labor is priceless. But So why not get the most for it? So quickly, DC, what's your take on Drew Brees coming back uh, to be the Saints quarterback one more again? Um, I think it's a pretty good sign and it's pretty much the only option you have. I mean, we really right. didn't. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to go get Kirk Cousins? 18 million on his salary? You're going to go get Kirk Cousins and pay him more money? And he's probably not even as good as Drew Brees, even though Drew Brees is 39. Like, what do you really do? So, we did exactly what we were supposed to do. Everybody knew this was going to happen. Uh, roughly on paper, judging from what they said, he got about $3 million more than what he was getting before. Um, we get a nice deal to where we can still make moves. He only count $10 million against the cap. Uh, that's what they're saying. Uh, uh, the specific cap where you can make moves with. So, right. Just um, 10 million. It's a real, real, real good thing, man. Uh, you know, Drew Brees tried to do the right thing. They tried to do the right thing. I think it's a 50 50 balance. Everybody happy. Yes, everybody is happy, and they're tooling up the team, man, to make a run in the Saints, man. They're really looking at the defense, saying secondary-wise, in the middle of the defense where we needed help. Now, of course, they would talk about linebackers, but they got a real good one in a solid cornerback in today's uh, signings as well. We'll cover that on the other side of the break as well as we have some other news and notes we'll hit you with pertaining to the Saints. Oh, and the good if you like it, you hard on uh, cornerbacks. I am, but I'm actually presently pleased with this one because this will push P.J. Williams out to the fourth nickel spot, and I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so when we come back on the other side of the break, we'll get more into those topics and subjects pertaining to the Saints and the free agency period. You're listening to the Sports Coma, the uh, free agent frenzy edition. Stay with us. Well. 